And for more, we're joined by Markus Tauber, who is a professor specialized in East Asian economies and China at the Duisburg Essen University. And uh, today you're here with us. And first of all, I would like to know how can it be that a country with more than 1.3 billion people can have a shortage of skilled workers? Well, the Chinese educational system wasn't actually focused on skilled workers. It was focused on highly specialized university graduates, but not on the practical skills. And actually, they didn't need that uh, much qualified workers because the Chinese export processing model, 3D puzzles, wasn't really requiring that kind of qualified workers. But, but times are changing, and uh, the lack of skilled workers could be a problem for China, couldn't it? Oh, certainly. I mean, now the whole Chinese business model is changing. Export processing is becoming less and less. And China is focusing to higher value-added, higher qualificated uh, production and industry. And now they're really lacking these, these qualified people. How should foreign companies based in China deal with that situation? What we've just seen right now, is this yeah. the right way to go about this it? This is certainly a very good way of, of trying to tackle this problem. Try to train your own people, try to, to make them more uh, decisive, let them make their own decisions, etc. That would be a good thing. But you always have to keep in mind, you have to retain these people. Mm -hmm. And if you want to retain these people, what you need more. You need loyalty not only to the company, but loyalty to, to the people who are leading the workforce there. Okay, I, I presume that's easier said than done because it's a cultural thing, right? Certainly. I mean, um, if you're a, a workforce leader in, in China, then you've got much more to do than what you would have to do in Europe or in Germany. You have much more private issues you have to deal with in order to create uh, a kind of atmosphere. Okay. between yourself and the people. Okay, let's just uh, maybe look at China and its economy because things are changing there too. Uh, the economy has slowed somewhat. Uh, certainly the latest uh, growth forecast is hovering around 8% now after mm. years of two-digit growth. Are the boom times over for China? No, actually I'm expecting a second boom for China right now as they are changing their, their uh, business model away from export processing towards a consumer-driven economy which will integrate central and western China into the whole system. And how do foreign companies have to adapt to that change? Oh, we will have to see that Foreign companies which have been in China in order to use China as a workbench for global exports will have to leave China. China is no longer a place to do that kind of business. Okay. They will move to, to Vietnam, to Bangladesh, Malaysia, whatever. But if you go to China now, then you must cater for the domestic market in China. That's the next story. Okay, very interesting. Markus Taube, thank you very much for joining us.